With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Church planter and pastor Emory Berry's passion for serving the educational community has its roots in his second grade public school teacher of decades ago. Not only was Lily Courtney his second grade teacher, she was also his Sunday school teacher. Barry, who now holds a doctorate in theology, had become the second grade at Palmetto Elementary School in Pinecrest, Florida, as the lowest ranking member of his class in reading comprehension. That investment has created a special place in his heart for teachers and schools. Barry and a group of church volunteers from the Favor Church hosted a cookout this week for the 100 school teachers and staff members at Mary MacLeod Bethune Middle School in Decatur, Georgia. They cooked and served food, encouraged educators, and shared information about their new church plant. Nominations for the 53rd Annual GMA Dove Awards were highlighted by multiple nods for Phil Wickham for King & Country, Maverick City Music, and newcomer Ann Wilson. Wilson was nominated for six awards, including New Artist of the Year and Pop Contemporary Recorded Song of the Year for her single, My Jesus. Maverick City Music received seven nominations, including Artist of the Year, Maverick City joined fellow artist Matthew West, who also received seven nominations. Good news for today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash good news. In a first-person piece on Baptist Press, Texas Baptist leader Tony Wolf writes, Churches should use all the tools of their time to reach the world with the gospel. But at every new opportunity, they should pause to reflect on how new innovations do or do not fit into the biblical model. With the rapid proliferation of digital tools and the widespread conventionality of their recent usage, the post-COVID church is asking many timely questions. Is online worship a permanent option for our church members? How can we be creative in utilizing digital tools for evangelism and discipleship? He goes on to say that online spaces are not evil in themselves, but they're not sufficient gathering points for the church. You can find the full piece from Tony Wolf and many other stories at our website, baptistpress.com. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today.